This jig, we're gonna tie like a cricket on a regular jig, but uh, this is a spinner jig. I poured these a few years ago. They're about 124th, 132nd. Um, thing you do want to do is make sure your head's good and clean because a lot of the casting places that be on it, so I always try to take and clean my heads off. Just so they go through the water good and they'll look good when you get done with them. This is a number four um, sickle hook. We're going to use red thread on it. This is actually a uh, a 210. I normally do 140, but I, don't, I couldn't locate any. So we're going to put us a base of thread down. And this jig is all about action. It's all about pulling in the fish to it. Um, and you'll see us, we'll go to tying it. We're going to have the uh, wings going to be actioned, the uh, legs, uh, two different rooms, really. Okay, so we're going to use a piece of closed cell foam. Just buy it in sheets and just cut it in quarter inch pieces. And with uh, this jig, I want it about one inch long. And those that watch me know that my first finger joint is one inch, so that's why I use it so much. We're going to cut that into a point. And then we're going to tie it onto the jig, I mean uh, the hook. I put a quick video on TikTok, so I know there'll be some come over to see this, because there's no way I could get it all on TikTok. All right, what we're gonna do once you get it tied in is split that wing. Stop just right above the hook. Then I want, I want the wings to be pointed going outward. That ain't necessary. It's just something I've always done and I like the looks of it. All right, we can use we can use deer hair or squirrel tail with this, and I'm gonna tell you why I'm gonna use the deer hair. It is a little stiffer than the squirrel tail, and when it gets wet, it don't have the tendency to lay down like squirrel does. This jig is all about movement, and uh, so that's why I'm gonna go with the deer deer hair. Other than I said deer deer tail, but it's deer body hair. And that's why I'm going to go with that because I want it a little bit stiffer. And that, the hair will actually make movement as it's going through the water as well. It's going to make bubbles, which is going to draw more fish into it. Clean it up around the head. Deer hair will definitely flare out. And this is a northern off a of northern deer. All right, now I'm gonna use uh, gold crystal flash. I mean, uh, gold crystal chenille. I'm gonna package just like this. You can get this and uh, I bought this one from uh, NORAD off of eBay. But we're gonna tie that in. Gets a little aggravating working with you. It's spinners and all but just take your time and do them this is one that's not meant to be mass produced it's meant for you to go out and have a good day on the water catching some fish all right so we got that tied off so now we're going to use a fine rubber leg uh, I'm not sure where, where I bought this particular rubber from. I've had it for probably 15, 16 years. But So what, what you can do, you take two strands. And we're just going to hook that thread. Pull it back up to the head. Pull it over. You can kind of adjust it out. Put you a couple wraps right there on your legs to hold them in place. And then I'm going to go... About a half inch past them legs. I mean, uh, the wings. Give me another piece. 
and we're going to do it the same way. We'll just turn it up a little bit, hook that thread, pull it up, put you a couple wraps, then the same length. And then you can adjust the legs down to where you want them. Uh, I want to make the legs about two times the length of the head. Long enough, and you want to leave the back ones long, sticking past. All right, with this one, we're going to use a piece of white saddle hackle. And all you do, you, you pull out one feather that's going to do for the size hook you're using. Alright, get that feather and just pull back the, the barbs on it and clip it. And that'll give you a spot to tie in to that jig. Get you a couple good wraps on it. If you can, go under that barb and come back on it. It will hold it on there for you a little bit better. Get you a half a plier. And then we're going to just wrap a hackle. Up. So back off a couple times, get my thread build up, get that tight on there again. Well, I'm not having no luck with that, am I? Okay, we're going to fix that. And just put us a little spot of glue right there on the back of the head. <laughs> hey Lord, this one is not going to cooperate today. But we're going to get it tied in there. There we go. I ain't much on editing the video, so you're going to see it as it happens. <laughs> Let me just cut that feather off of there. Get it out of the way. Alright. Normally I would have uh, tie it off right where the hackle's laying. But I want this to stand up more. So I'm going to pull everything backwards. And we're going to wrap the thread right behind the, right behind the head there. And the reason I'm using red is that gives the uh, the jig a gill look coming off the sides. Got to keep remembering this is all about attracting the fish to it. Then we're going to take and we'll finish it. About two wraps. Right down. Takes a little bit of cement, put it on that thread, put a little bit on each side, just tie it in there and hold it in. Do your final trimming. Okay, so now we got it going through the water like this. Could you imagine? Uh -uh. <clears throat> if I was fish, I'd want to eat it. Just looking at it. Let me put everything up and get it out of the way here for a minute. All right, now we're going to put us a, a spinner on there. So we're going to take our pliers and open it up. And this, I'm using a small, I'm going to use a brass. Uh, Spinner leaf or spinner blade, I mean. Hook it on there. And get that split ring back open. Let's hook it in. Get that blade started in there. I mean, that 
split shot. Well, guys, I know we don't have this kind of trouble getting these started, but this one is trying to be a bird with me today. All right, guys. Okay. There's your finished jig. That's going to be a... There's a lot of stuff going on in this jig. It's going to be a lot of movement. And that's what you want. That's what this whole jig's about. It's attract, attracting it to you. So the spinner's going to be moving. Legs, the neck, everything. All this is going to create bubbles. Come back off of your tail. It's going to create bubbles. Your leg movement. The wing is going to close up, flare out. And um, also what I want to do with this, I'm going to put some red eyes on there. And this is just a craft paint. Got this at probably Hobby Lobby. It's an opal. Let's go out just a little bit. And for my eyes, I use uh, aluminum rods. This is a 1-8, which is perfect size for this. If you'll notice, it'll fit right into that eye socket. So we're going to dip the, the rod into the paint then we just roll it up and we're just going to touch that eye socket fill it in there if the paint's right thick enough it'll stick right in you won't have to you won't have to go through it but one time and touch it and then you can always come back with white black whatever uh, or whatever color your eyes are I've done three color eyes two color uh, most of the time just one And there's the jig. So this one is going to be interesting to try. Uh, it ain't going to take long for it to pull something in. But our waters are are real muddy right now. We've had a lot of rain, so everybody's kind of waiting on just the right days to get out there. But any days the right days, as long as you can get out. There. So. Gentlemen, I hope y'all enjoyed this one. Uh, give you something else to try. Give you some different ideas while you're tying at the bench. And uh, for you beginner tires, try stuff like this. If you got something in your mind, tie it. Uh, there's no wrong and there's no right. Go out there and try it. Because a lot of the, the fishing for crappy brim, bass, they ain't exactly going at a, a particular insect or man or whatever. They, uh, they get hungry, they're going to go at whatever's moving them through the water. So, keep your mind open, and have fun at your tying desk, and good luck on the water.